What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing the highly anticipated documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Yes, this is the documentary about Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers himself. And I've been hearing a lot of buzz about this. I finally have gotten the time to go and check out this film for myself. And might I say, I'm so happy I did get to go see this film. Now, full disclosure, I didn't grow up with Mr. Rogers. I, and that's something I didn't know how the film was going to affect me because I didn't grow up with him. I didn't watch his show from what I could remember, maybe some things here and there. And I also am not the biggest fan of documentaries. It takes a lot for me to go and sit down in a documentary or turn it on Netflix and watch it. And the film stole my heart. I love this film. This is one of the best films of this year, if not one of my favorites. It goes to say, I think this film is a masterpiece of a documentary. Now, given, again, I don't watch a ton of documentaries, so I don't know, like what makes the best documentary but how engaged they got into the story about something that i don't even know anything about is saying a lot because i was totally engrossed into the story of mr rogers and how he was created how fred rogers created this tv show and what it did for society itself during this time the huge question that this film really proposes to us as a society is what are you going to do what are you going to do to change society and that and that's at least how i took it what are you going to do to better yourself that i thought of that is is walking out of the theater it makes me think yeah what am i going to do to better myself what am i going to do to better society itself around me and help people going because this is what you saw in mr rogers is that he was such a compassionate person that just wanted to change the world help society itself and help our, our growing children and tell each and every person that they are special in some individual way, even if they don't think they are. And seeing all the bullying and seeing all the, the horrifying stuff, this is pre-YouTube comments, guys. And just the toxicity that you would see throughout this that Mr. Rogers had to deal with and how strong he was with it and at times was not. And how he would express himself is something that a lot of us should learn from. And this goes to the matter of fact of Juice, who the guy was. I saw a lot of myself as in him because... I'm the same way as he is, and I'm sure lots of people can relate to him in some way, shape, or form, is how they want to change the world, how they want to influence the world, and how they want to teach and praise the people. And the thing, again, is like I said, like I, I didn't grow up with Mr. Rogers, but for sure, my kids will be watching him, because a lot of his stuff is very timely. You know, he taught, hits hard topics like death, divorce, action, and, and war, in life, racism, sexuality. And even 9-11 was a huge thing that he hit up. And those topics are very tough and commonly, but he made it in a way that kids and adults could talk to one another about. You know, it, it, it's really hard because you can't imagine being in those parents' shoes and having to talk to your kid about these certain things. But Mr. Rogers found a way for parents and kids to relate to this and also learn about it. It was a great show for parents in one way and one route to be able to talk and see how he's relating to these kids so they can take that and influence themselves to talk to their kids. But it also opens the topic already to their kids. And there's tons of discussions of where you see how much he's influenced some kids' lives. A couple of them, in fact, that really kind of weep you in the tears. And this is a film you really want to bring some tissues for because this film has an overwhelming amount of emotion that it pushes into you in such the best way. And I, I absolutely adore that, what the documentary did for this. Won't You Be My Neighbor is a masterful documentary, a film that every single person should see. This is the film that society actually needs in life. It's a film that I think will better humanity and not only better that part, but also make each and every person want to be better for themselves and to teach others around them. I cannot recommend this film enough. I think this is one of the most masterful films I've seen this year. It really does paint a picture for what people need to be and what society would be. I, I can't imagine to see what Mr. Rogers would be like in today's world, and it sucks that we probably will never have another Mr. Rogers like that. But I hope that there are other people out there like Mr. Rogers. I think there is other people out there like that, and I think we need to look for them or become them. If we all lived in a world like that, yes, there would still be issues, but I think there would be a lot more love in the world. And there's one thing in here where he does one, four, three that will always stick for me. When you see the film, you'll totally understand what I'm saying. But one, four, three is what I felt about this film. I absolutely adored Won't You Be My Neighbor. 
and it really makes me want to change and become a better person than I already am. And if a film can do that without a massive budget or a massive amount of symbolism, which don't get me wrong, I love indie films. I love when films hit kind of subtle, symbolistic topics in those. But when a documentary, when someone like this can influence me in this development of someone who I've never grown up with, no one I've never even known the story about, can change my view on the world, that's saying a lot for a film. So with all said, I'm going to give Won't You Be My Neighbor an A+. I didn't think I would love this documentary as much as I did. I didn't think it would live up to the hype, but it does. Again, this is the film that every single person needs to see. If you don't catch it in theaters, catch it on VOD when it comes out. Catch it on Netflix, however you can. I highly and highly recommend Won't You Be My Neighbor. And I don't think I would ever do that for a documentary, but the fact is I do think this is a film that every single person needs to watch. Tell me guys, have you guys gotten a chance to see Won't You Be My Neighbor? I'm curious, curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Did you guys grow up with Mr. Rogers? Did you not? I want to talk about it with you guys down below. But guys, of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to like and also consider subscribing. I do tons of reviews like this, and I can't wait to bring you guys more. Of course, guys, you guys are seriously all the best, and I hope you guys know that. So if you guys want to talk more movies, go hit up all my social media links. Then plus, go down to Sandwich John Films down below, because right there you guys can get into it advanced movie screens check out some movie news and also some movie reviews but guys until next time you guys are seriously all the best and seriously look at the question is what are you going to do to change society i'm gonna end it on there guys you guys all stay classy and have a great rest of your day